right, folks, creators here. We're going to do something a little different this time. <clears throat> I've been playing this game. I, I, I saw a thing on Steam for it, and I thought it looked interesting. It wasn't given to me. I did actually buy it. It's early access, as you might be able to see down here. The last update was uh, 1023 this year. <laughs> it's a relatively new game. It's kind of cool. It's kind of relaxing. One of the things I really like about it, the music. I really like the music in this thing. I did have a profile that I was running on this thing right here, but for you all, I deleted it and I'm going to start a new one. Just for you. I'm sort of kidding. <laughs> yes, I'm doing it for the YouTubes and uh, make uh, some new content, a new game, put a new game on the channel and see how it does. And uh, also the last update, well, it didn't break the profile, but it added some things that you could not get. I, at least I couldn't figure out how to get it. I'll show you in a second. So let's go ahead and start this up. I'll shut up and get that stuff off the screen. Humankind has industrialized much of the solar system. Earth has deteriorated into a place of squalor and decay. In orbit, a new breed of worker has emerged, the Shipbreaker. The labor is extremely dangerous, but for a select few, the hazard pay is worth the risk. <laughs> pay? <laughs> That's funny. The Shipbreaker. <clears throat> Okay, I wasn't going to shut up. I had to read some things, I guess. What do we got? Food shortage continues. New green contamination concerns. Mom! I saw a mom over there. Dad sick again. Bill passed to second notice. Office of a civilian something. Please respond. Credit transfer declined. Uh, payment required. So you owe a bunch of money to somebody. Linksys Corporation Reship Breaker Application. You update. Pave the way to the Galaxy program. Update your application status, okay? Uh, greetings. I'm not going to read all of this. Citizen LF-291180S. Uh, on acceptance into the links. Pave the way to the Galaxy. Blah, blah, blah. Remember, if it was, uh, on receipt of electronic signature, a shuttle will be deployed immediately to your current location to deliver you to your post. Training will commence immediately on arrival. Finalize the stuff. Okay. Uh, so we are craters. And standard package is fine. Unlimited clones. So we can play a more difficult one in the future. In fact, on the previous profile, I think I died once. And I did it kind of on purpose. <laughs> I blew up a ship just to see what would happen. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, I don't know what this is. To verify your identity, confirm the voice file you submitted in your original application. No. Ooh. I like that. Ah. Ah. Okay, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Meal preference. Our food processors can serve a variety of dietary preferences. Food cost is based on current market value and may change chicken. Plastic free. <laughs> Vegetarian. No. Entomotarian? What the crap is that? I don't know. I don't think it makes any difference. We'll go with chicken because I actually had chicken tonight for dinner. A chicken Caesar salad. Uh, I have no criminal record. I am not a member of a uh, workers union. I have completed my annual medical exam. have been cleared of having McCullough's lung. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I have no commercial or real estate interests in Luna in the asteroid belt or in the nation state of Arizona. Hmm. If this is any premonition of the future, I might be moving to Arizona. All right, uh, 
Yeah, you know, we'll bring a positive attitude, a problem-solving mindset to work every day. Sure. I understand I accept the health risks associated with long-term exposure to a Vander Walls field. All right. And uh, I will vote. <laughs> uh, no choice. No choice in the matter. Uh, yeah, maybe it is a premonition of <laughs> the future. What the current situation is going on? I'll speak no further of it. <laughs> Hard space, shipbreaker. Oh, I like this part. We're just getting through the tutorial here. The music, man. I enjoy it. <laughs> oh. All right. These next two maneuvers are tough for most worms to wrap their heads around because most of you have never spent time in zero G. We call them rolls. Give them a shot. All right, Cutter, your training ship is right there in the middle of the yard. Let's talk about the grapple tool for a moment, shall we? Specifically, sure. how you use it. Now you can pull things towards you using the grapple's real ability. If you reel in an object that's lighter than you, you'll pull that object towards you. But if you reel in an object that's heavier than you, well... You're going to pull yourself towards it. Once you've grabbed the antenna with your grapple, your HUD tells you where you should put it. You've got furnaces and processors on the left and right, while the barge is underneath the ship.
I have played this a little bit. <laughs> Actually, quite a lot. I got up to level six, I think, in the other profile. But like I said earlier, they uh, added some things to the game. And I couldn't figure out how to get any other profile, so I thought I'd start a new one. Oop. Another billion or so of them antenna, and you will have completely wiped out your debt. <laughs> a billion or so. <laughs> All right, Cutter. You ready to perform a little zero G ship surgery? Let's get her done. Come on, man. Give it to me. Come on. Come on. Oh, that. Now we're looking for cut points. Think of it as yellow the things. chunks of glue that hold the key structural segments of the ship together. Bingo. Just got to go ahead from control to unlock your cutting tool. Yippee! You may now equip the Singer head mount. I'm uploading the final work order objective required to complete your certification rank one training and... Yep, you guessed it. Let's get them nacelles on the barge with them new tools of yours. Now make sure you don't let your cutter overheat while you're slicing away. You can hear a chirp when it's just about to overheat, or you can keep an eye on the temperature gauge in the lower right of your hood. Yeah, pass that. All right, let's knock this other nacelle down there. Secured. Credit deposited. Get down there. Come on. Can't wait till we get tethers a little easier to deal with. And get in there. There we go. That's what it's all about, Cutter. The more work orders you complete, the closer you get to hitting your certification quotas. Go ahead and see where you're at on earning your first cert. Where am I? Certifications. Work order objectives complete. All right. We're done. Enter the hat. So we better upgrades and perks for your tools, gear, and equipment, as well as access to more valuable ships back in your hab. Speaking of which, let's mosey on over to your personal habitation unit right now, because that's what you do when you finish your shift. You didn't think Lynx made you sleep out here in the yard, did you? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Alright, this is the hab right there uh, that I... That's where you can buy supplies and stuff. And then, of course, your whole work area is this. I wish they had made it... Well, you know what? I, if they would bring the ships forward a bit more uh, when you when you start a new job, it would be great because some of them are too far back. And then you got this narrow space in between the furnace to uh, get things like into the uh, barge or into the processors, which are the kind of bluish ones. And you got to be really careful on forges because, man, them things, they ha it has a draw to it, so it sucks, in, sucks things in. And um, the, the, the furnace is, like, super strong. And you lose some good materials every once in a while. Rank 2 basic certification. Love that. Uh, oh, laser cutter upgrade. Continue and complete the shift. We're making money. No, we're not. <laughs> As you know by now, this is your hat. I know it feels a bit flat right now, but I hear Lynx is looking into fixing it up real nice for you sometime in the near future. Anyway. Says here you're gonna need an upgrade to complete your next certification rank. You're gonna like this one, Cutter. Let's check it out now, shall we? Before we get to that, this is one of the thing that's new. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sip of lemonade. Um, it's this unread messages thing about, and ghost ships are new to the game as well. So we got this unread messages in here. While we're at it, uh, we can see our rank is up here. And then our debt. Apparently, we owe close to, well, just shy of a billion dollars. 
<laughs> or a billion credits or whatever. And then we got these links tokens, I guess is what the LT stands for. <coughs> Sorry. And that is what you use to uh, upgrade your things. And we got to go to equipment and our cutter. And then we're going to upgrade our split saw license. Good. Now let's get back to the yard so you can try this sucker out. Well, okay, let's do it. The other thing that is new, that's the messages thing uh, that is now being more used. So this is the messages. We'll come back to that. And what was new is the stickers that you can put on your stuff. And one of them that I could not get in the previous profile was complete the tutorial because I already did it and I could not figure out for the life of me how to redo the tutorial. You can go back and redo the starter ship. Okay, before we hop back in the yard, I want to show you the ship catalog. Here is where you find a selection of ships Lynx is deemed ready for salvage. As I said before, Earning certifications will open up higher grade ships. But we gotta learn to walk before we run, Cutter, so let's get back to finishing your plate on that Lynx training vessel. We were out. All right, we'll get back to it, because I forgot what I was saying already. I was listening to him. <laughs> Uh, some information about the current ship that you're working on. Uh, we can't get into the, the ship catalog currently until we finish the tutorial, so let's just do it. All right, Cutter, another shift, another credit. Today's goal is to complete your certification rank two. And in order to do that, we're going to have to light up that new split saw mode you just upgraded in the hand. Go ahead and equip it now. Nice work there, Cutter. It's time to take the training wheels off and let you loose on this thing. My advice is to knock out your work order first, and then see if you can salvage every last bit of the training vessel. We call it using the whole buffalo. Waste not, want not, right, Cutter? Go get them, Tiger. Be right. Using the whole buffalo. All right, we're gonna cut that. We're gonna cut that. <clears throat> And then we can go here, and you can see down there in the kind of bottom screen that this goes to the processor. So we don't want to send it to the furnace. We need to send it to the processor. So I'm going to scoot in here and give her a bump. Boop. Don't go, don't go near that furnace, man. All right, and uh, get this one off of here. Cut these two points. You can see all the points you're going to cut that you need to cut. They're the yellow things in there. And uh, you can't cut the nanocarbon, but you can cut that awarded. aluminum panel there. And that's what's holding some things in place. And in this case, uh, that is holding this top panel, those two points. And these two points are holding the bottom panel. These two points are holding this side panel, just like we saw on the other panel that I just sent into the processor. You try to cut this, like this thing's nanocarbon. You can see it just kind of reflects off of there. Switch to our uh, grapple so we can send this panel off into the processor and go. Go on, go on. Get. Yeah. All right, now we got to get in here and um, we're going to just have to cut our way in. Object accepted for process. Thank you. Credits deposited. Um, I cut that. Cut that. Okay. Cut that. Cut that. I mean, this is pretty much the game. It's kind of relaxing. I enjoy it actually you know things aren't trying to eat your brains um it's got a bit of survival to it i mean you gotta you can't blow yourself up which you, you can do fairly easily we will find out that soon enough <clears throat> a couple ways how 
Um, but mostly it's just, you know, collecting stuff, reducing your debt, and gaining ranks. And uh, one of the things I find most enjoyable about it, I think I've mentioned this already, the music, man. And it's, it's kind of, uh, I don't know what the correct word is, it's adaptive. So it, it kind of changes on the situation, you know, like how much time you have left, um, what's going on. Like if your oxygen is low, it'll start doing things. If you smack your helmet hard enough, it'll like freak out. <laughs> it's it's, it's kind of cool, actually. But what I'd really love, if it was at all possible, and I don't think it is, is to be able to uh, take this music soundtrack and use it in like the Imperion stuff when I'm playing that or uh, get down there. Yeah, get a couple of these things. These are the soft crates. Ooh, something went flying off there. Get in there. Come here. Come here. Where do you go? Processor. There's one more of these soft crates. There's this thing, too. So it, it kind of tells you, and it also highlights where where to put it. Send that in the processor. Send that down there. Cut these other points. Currently, I got to get pretty close to them. Yeah, you can see the crosshairs turn red. We are familiar with flying around in zero G, so maneuvering <clears throat> was never really a problem. Oh, you're not going to come apart because why? Oh, okay. I see. We could use the uh, thing here, but it just makes a mess of it. This is not a big deal. Cut that loose. Cut that loose. I thought we did cut it loose. not. All right. Got these other points over here. These little little things are holding it all together. Got these couple here and it'll probably come apart. That little beep was our, uh, our uh, cutter getting too hot. It can overheat. There we go. And you. Into the furnace you go. Bye. Go. Get. And you. I gotta shove it. I can shove it with my helmet, too. And the, the helmet is the key part in this game. You, you, you have a body, I guess, but you can... Uh, Oh, no, you. No, 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 no. Get over here. Almost sent that into their processor. Well, I'm going to finish this. Can I finish this? I mean, I've already got most of it. Oops, wrong way. You go that way. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <coughs> Get in there. Knock this piece in, and this is done. All right. Valuable component incinerated. Penalty has been applied. What? What? Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Thought that was a whole aluminum plate. It wasn't. I put it in the wrong place. All right. Quick way back to the hab. Use your, uh, whatever the grapple. And we're done. Recruit new rank three. And upgrade for the grapple. Nice. So every time you finish a shift, you, uh, you reduce your debt by the credits earned here. 
You can see I destroyed some stuff. Most of it wasn't worth a crap, except for the this nano carbon panel, almost 400 kilograms. Yeah, that blows. Oh well. Well, congratulations on completing certification rank two, there, Cutter. Now that you've proven you kind of know what you're doing out there, Lynx has a present for you. Yay. Go ahead and make your way to the equipment upgrade screen and let's see what we see. What do we get? Tether module! I love the tethers. Repeat after me, Cutter. Tethers, tethers are your friend. Let's select your next <laughs> ship and head out into the yard to try them out. Best thing ever! New ship. All right. Uh, so you can see it gives all kinds of information. I'm not sure what all the symbols and stuff mean. I'm apparently it's a fire hazard and uh, freezing hazard, electrical hazard, and I don't know. <laughs> uh, the resources that you can get, various things, electrical, I guess, glass. Uh, I'm not sure what all of the symbology is, um, especially when you get down here. Uh, no clue. That's apparently furniture. Uh, what kind of reactor it has, and then its difficulty and whatnot. And uh, if we hit Q and R, we can't go any further. But normally, you'd be able to select different ships. There's not a huge variety of ships in this game, but they do get more difficult. And it's early access. I'm sure they'll probably add more ships eventually. Crabble. There's still plenty there for us to sink our teeth into. Okay. Such as how we're going to deal with the pressurized area. Ooh. But before we get into all that, let's uh -huh. try out your tethers. Let's do it. Your tethers are far stronger than the line on your grapple. Uh huh. Use them when you're trying to move objects that are much heavier than you are. Sure, okay. Also, tethers stack. Oh. The more you use, the stronger the pull you get out of them. Ooh. If you put them in the right place, that is. Okay. Place a tether. Salvage a twin nacelle. Okay, there's a twin nacelle. Place a tether. You do a right click and hold it and then get the other end and let go. Yay. And off you go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Come on, get down there. <laughs> All right. Find out what's next before I start tearing into stuff. I just want to tear into it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Nice work, Cutter. Again. Like I said, tethers, tethers are your friends. Once you get the hang of them, you can get pretty creative with how you use them. All right. Now for the fun stuff. And when I say fun, I mean incredibly dangerous. Oh? Huh? Next, we're going to learn about pressurization. According mm -hmm. to Link, decompression events are the number one cause of death. And as a result, cloning. All right. Let's open up your scanner and see what we see. So you can see all those CMPTs, compartment, cabin, uh, various kind of compartments. And they got that green block next to them and then you can tell on the links on board manual that it's pressurized out here is not see that airlock over there let's go check it out let's check it out yeah I get pretty close to this and we hit f airlock pressure levels dropping which is the same key that does the boost thing from your grapple so you got to be a little careful with that. Make sure you're close enough and that F comes up on the thing before you <laughs> it. Always a good idea. Really? But there may be times later when you encounter Bye. ships without functioning airlocks. Okay. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, Cutter. Okay. Now, let's get inside. Let's do it. Oh, a key. All right. Let's see if there's a way to depressurize this sucker so we uh -huh. can get to work on it. All right. Look for an atmosphere regulator. I don't see it. If it's working, this device will let us depressurize the room safely. You don't want to trigger a violent decompression. Believe me. 
Sounds like he's talking from experience. Is that what happened to him? All right, so that's this thing right here. And if we hit F, we can interact with it, activate it. Now, okay. Just make sure it's nailed down. Alrighty, I'm lighting up your work order with the rest of the objectives for this ship. Okay, do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? Look at the reactor. Oh, there we go. There she is. The reactor. Mm -hmm. That's your meal ticket right there, Cuddy. Mm -hmm. Alright, this one's pretty easy. She should just slide out of her coolant casing with a good yank from your grapple. Don't do it yet. But before you do that, it's uh -huh. always a good idea to clear a path for her straight to the barge. Because once you pull it, she starts melting down. And when it comes to reactors, you never know how many ticks you got until she goes boom. All right. The way you complete your work order from here on out is entirely up to you. Let's show Link so Weaver still knows how to turn worms into ship rigs, all right? Good luck, Cutter. Weaver out. See you, Weaver. Take care, buddy. Appreciate the help. And we are going to cut this thing apart. Get these panels out the way, because like you said, we need a have a clear path for that reactor down to the barge and we're gonna use some tether to get it down there all right those are cut loose find our way out here switch to the grapple and we can knock these panels into the uh, oh let's get this nacelle out of the way over here Yeah. Now you can you can do things like they showed in the uh, uh, beginning screen and do stuff like this. got to use some caution doing this. And right now the tethers don't last a very long time, so it makes it a little more difficult. So, or if I can cancel them too. So you can see we're getting our nanocarbon order in. Make sure all these get in there. Yeah, see how they, they split? And this one's not going to get dragged in with the other, so we'll just knock it in there. Go on. Go on now. There we go. Buddy. All right, enter the hab. We're not done cutting that ship apart yet, but <clears throat> we can find out what that reactor's worth. Rank four, beginner. I don't remember going so fast through the ranks previously, but eh, whatever. Ooh, all kinds of upgrades. Nice. 
class one reactor, 500 grand. Excuse me, the two nacelles were worth 300 grand, so 150 a piece, and uh, complete the shift. So I think that's it for the tutorial, I hope. Maybe. So this is our daily fee. So every resurrection fee, you got to pay interest on their debt, and uh, you got a bay lease, uh, transportation fee, cutter rental, 120 grand, grapple rental, 90 grand, hab rent, 12 and a half, uh, utilities, two and a half, helmet rental, 25 grand, scanner rental, 30, suit rental, 45, thruster rental, 15. So you can purchase those things as we will be able to see. So there is a means to purchase them. If we look at our upgrades, so down here is purchase suit. You got to be level eight. Helmet got to be level six. Scanner level seven. Thrusters level six. This thing, the grapple level nine, and the cutter is at level ten. So lots of stuff. Um, we've got three hundred credits, and I think. Probably the first thing I want to do is upgrade that. Tether amount. Tethers are your friends. Yes, they are. I want more of them. Thank you. And the other thing that we finally got is this stickers thing. I had a few of them from before, I think, but I could not get this one. So I'm going to place this sticker. I'm going to put it on. A, oh, you put it on the cutter or the grapple. Nice. Let's put it on. No. Uh, let's put it here. Place a sticker. Links. Safety third. <laughs> That's funny. What is this one? Reach certification rank 10. All right. What do we got here? Uh, salvage 15 class one reactors. Okay. 25 data drives. 200, or 250,000 kilograms of aluminum. A million kilograms of nanocarbon. All right, all right, all right. That one we just looked at. We got to reach level 10. Drink more. Salvage 100 bottles. What? Really? I never salvage them things. Well, I guess I'll start doing that. And food packs. Oh, crap. All right. It's garbage. Why am I collecting garbage for ghost? Four helmets. 100 AI modules, eradicate all AI, 10 ghost ships. Okay. Okay. We got those messages, so we'll go ahead and read those. Uh, notice to all shipworkers. Starting this week, we will be receiving semi-regular shipments of ships found abandoned near the edges of the frontier. You may hear others refer to these as ghost ships. Please note, ghost ships is a... I ah, can't even... Colloquialism. <laughs> uh, one of those words that just tosses your tongue for loops. And Lynx takes no responsibility for any non-corporal entities encountered aboard these vessels. Of course they don't. These ships have been gently used, <laughs> gently, gently used by previous crews before being discarded for reasons we are not legally required to ascertain. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. A reminder that all vessels, either previously links owned or otherwise, void their ownership rights if uninhabited for three days. Under stellar law, Lynx has first salvage rights to uninhabited vessels as outlined in page 178, section C, addendum 5.2 of your Lynx handbook. Please note that while a preliminary sweep of the ship has been done, revealing only Minorly anomalous readings, a more in-depth assessment of any issues terrestrial or otherwise is the sole responsibility of the assigned shipbreaker. Any questions can be directed to the HR hotline email listed in your handbook. Happy scrapping, Links Corporate. Okay. Uh, Lily from Links. Oh, ships. Hey, Cutters. Lily from Links here. Just... For a friendly reminder, uh oh, that programming or propagation of artificial intelligence is strictly forbidden. We at Lynx understand the appeal. Wow, completely automated workforce? Sounds like a dream come true, but sadly, laws are clear under the Artificial Intelligence Act of New Australia. 
If you see a friend or colleague talking about AI, building AI, or a machine god, please reach out to Lynx representative in concern. Remember, our lines are purely confidential and our, and our sources are properly compensated. Lovely. Happy cutting, Lily. Okay. Uh, hey, Cutter. Who's this from? Weaver. All right. Hey, Cutter. Can't do that properly. Hey, Cutter. So these ships keep popping on the edges of the frontier. Vessels without crews, completely empty, manifestos cleared out, and blaring weird radio signals. Our best guess is bandits. But of course, once Jaws get wagon, you get a bunch of ghost stories since... Seeing figures through the fog and all that hogwash. Try not to let anything spook ya. It's just a bunch of fried fried circuits. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, I'll be checking in if anything strange pops up. Just keep your head down and don't be afraid of no ghost. Weaver. <laughs> don't be afraid of no ghost. And his name is Weaver. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a funny reference. Uh, what are we doing? All right, let's uh, end this episode, and uh, we will complete the uh, salvage. Okay. Let's get to it. All right, there we go. Pull ourselves in. Salvage metal, salvage antenna. One antenna is all we need to complete that work order, but this ship has two. So I will get both of them. Get on there. Yay. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. And get that little thumbs up every time we uh, complete a work order. All right. And then this is pressurized, if I remember. Oh, nope, it's not. Oh yeah, we cut the whole bottom out of it. <laughs> uh, I forgot already. Yes. All right, take that thing off. Uh, it's not gonna let us. Can I? Can I? Can I has that? No. Why? Why can I has that? I want that. Ah, there we go. I can have that one. Get on there. Go. And I can have that one. Get. Yeah. All right. I'm going to cut the rest of this crap out. And we got to salvage metal. And that can go in the furnace. But see how this goes in the processor and that goes in the furnace. So we're going to switch to this thing. And we're going to cut the glass out of here. Let's uh, get a nice cut here. And there we go. And... Get another nice cut and switch the angle again. Again... Nice cut there, and one more down here. And there we go. Hey, get back here. Bye. Material Oop. deposited. Nice. All right. And let's go ahead and cut the top off this thing. that one. Now you can see this one goes to the furnace. Where is that? Oh, that goes to the furnace too. All right. thought that one was uh same. Well, all right. thought it was the poly something or other. Like that one goes to the processor. Okay. So we got to be careful of where we send what. Did I get it? I got it. Okay. There is a light on here. We can take that light off there. Or... There we go. We'll just kind of send that down there to the barge, too, because that's where that goes. Where do you go? Processor. Salvage secured. Okay. Credit deposited. That goes to the furnace. That goes to the furnace. Okay. And can we get out of here? Uh -huh. Yeah, we sure can. Let's see if we can get rid of these here. Raise it up. I'm gonna shut up for a minute. We can enjoy this music. I love the music. Valuable 
project process. Credits awarded. Deposit accepted. Work order complete. Work order is now complete. Yay. Here's a thing. So you can see how the, all right, you can hear how the music has changed some. We'll let their oxygen get lower since we're here. Dun, 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 dun. Oxygen reserves are critical. Please contact your plan administrator to add asphyxiation coverage. And now the music's changed altogether. <laughs> You hear the heavy breathing. Oh, all right, all right. Oxygen level stabilizing. Oxygen level stabilizing. That's another thing. Whenever you go buy something and you got your work order closed, you hit tab to open and close it. You hit tab to close that. So if you have your work order closed and you close that, then your work order opens up. So. I, I think they need to work on the UI just a touch, but otherwise, I mean, most of it, the game's pretty smooth. Um, for the most part, you start sticking large things into the furnace, and that's when it kind of gets funky. <laughs> but uh, is this where does this thing go? Processor, uh, furnace, processor. All right, see, this is the hard part because this whole thing, I gotta get into, so, man, how do I say? So you can see there's a compartment on both sides of here where the airlock is at. And um, we gotta get in there somehow. And there's no door, there's no hatch, there's no nothing to get in there. So we gotta kind of figure it out. And we will do that. And uh, this whole training thing is not timed. Future ones Your will be timed. So now that's all empty. I, I saw a green thing for the airlock, like green icon. Uh, bring that T where it says the, you know, air LK right there. That was green. So I wanted to make sure I got rid of that before I started tearing things further apart. And blammo! Down there. So, I guess we'll cut the front end of this off. See if we can find our way into those side compartments somehow. Probably cut into it. Oh, but we knocked this whole thing loose. Uh, can't get that off the wall for some reason. How about that light? Yep. You gotta be careful of some of these electrical items. They will shock you. 
going to pull this forward with the tether so we're going to do this connect that to there get out the way i only put one on there so you can see how it's pulling it apart from the rest of the ship there and i'm going to cancel the tether there we go i canceled it and now we have x can i get this thing now now we have access to the internals of the ship, and we can get to cutting. Ooh. Ew. In there. Probably didn't need to cut that all loose. Probably could have just uh, this whole thing. This whole well, parts of it can go to the furnace, like this panel here. But are we going to worry about it that much? I don't think so. Since the work orders are done, and the poly, this nano carbon. Polycarbon? Nanocarbon is worth more than that aluminum panel, so send it. All right, we're going to work on the difficult side here first, and uh, let's get this one out. There we go. Oop, cut that. Cut that. Interleak system. Systemix. Systemix? Cut that. Dun, 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 dun. This is just dun. Hey Connor, I need you to head back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your rope too. I don't wanna Stabilizing. Sometimes you find oxygen in bottles and stuff on, on these ships, but this is a training one, so it doesn't have any of that fun stuff. None of it. Back to our cutter. Slide in. It's all cut loose. I think, did I get this one down here? I did. All right. Cool. And we're going to pull this off here a little gently. Come on. Come on. No, you don't want to come? Did, am I missing one? I think I got it all. Got the one up here. Yeah, maybe I just don't have enough pull. All right, fine. Not so gently. A little bit in the middle. Send you in there. There we go. I was trying not to do that. <laughs> and possible, possibly damage the uh, that thing. Nice. 
Pet you. We can switch to this other one because it's faster. You switch between the stinger and the uh, split saw by hitting two. Here we go. That is a lot faster. One more. All right. Oop. Our tool has morphed into the wall. <laughs> Oop. Dun, 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 dun. And off you go. Oh, you're not in there yet. I had not noticed until now. Let's uh, see if we can solve that problem. Come on. I don't want to get too close. Come on, get in there. Put a couple tethers on it. Come on. Go, 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 go. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We can take these lights and stuff off here if we really wanted to. Let's see. Object accepted for processing. And that goes on the barge, but I don't know if that got accepted. Oh, it did. Okay. <laughs> uh, get that in there. Oh, that one's not in there yet. Go! Wasting tethers here. Got five left. Too. Usually that stuff costs money and it tells you, but because we're in training, I don't think it's going to cost us any money here. All right, can I? No. Oh. Yeah. All right, now uh, the problem with this back end here, which I do have cut loose, I think, is that most of this rest of this stuff goes in the furnace. And uh, the whole tail end of this shit goes into the processor. So I'm going to cut this part off. Here we go. And then maybe, just maybe, if I take a tether and pull it that way a little bit. Oh, that's pulling the whole damn thing. All right, cancel that. Cancel that tether. I thought I cut that loose in half, but all right, that works too. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to put a tether here and drag that over there. And one more there and in there. Yank her in. Go on. Go on now, get. 
<laughs> Off it goes. Now here's where, because that's a large, large, you know, it's a fairly large piece. All these little bits here, like this thing, man. I can't can't get that. All these little broken bolts and stuff, that's new too. Run into them with your helmet. That's a large chunk of stuff going into the furnace, mostly aluminum, but it doesn't matter what it is. Anytime you throw large stuff in the furnace, it actually burns up, as you can see there, and that's when the game's gonna... Raw material process. Well, up oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> it gets all a little bit wonky, <laughs> which is fine. I mean, that's a pretty big piece. If you get turned away from it or not looking at it, at least directly, then it's a... Uh, it's not so bad. And we will send this thing into here. I'm gonna kind of tether it a little bit far away from uh, that furnace, because I don't want this thing getting sucked into that furnace, which I have had happen before. It just kind of scoots this edge, and the, the furnace draw is just horrendous. I wish they would turn it down a little bit. Like you get past these yellow safety marker tape thingies on either side, and you're going to get drawn into the processor or the furnace and uh, get sucked into it. But the, the, the suction on the furnace draw is just like twice the strength as the uh, processor. Okay. That went a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought I'd go quicker on this. I did not. I was enjoying the music. I find this game quite relaxing, and uh, it, it's it's fun to play. It's, it's something different, you know, kind of vary things up. And uh, the music, I love the music. I, I play guitar, if you haven't figured that out by now. But the guitar and the banner on my, on that, on the, on my YouTube channel there, if I can get the words out. That is actually one of my guitars, uh, Paul Reed Smith special edition something or other it's a nice guitar it was a dream guitar and i got it for a pretty good deal and i got a few others handful of them <laughs> i don't play as often as i should i'm way out of practice my fingers are all stiff from not being out of practicing as often as i should but i can play a little bit i guess i'm not that good i suck maybe one day i will uh see if i can finish recording one of my tunes and use it in one of the recordings yeah, maybe. One day. All right, let's enter this hab, finish this shift, and get this episode also completed. So we earned a million and a half. $1.5 million. Sweet. And we destroyed a few things, but that was okay. Because uh, those things are difficult to get cut away. I mean, you can't just get everything. Like the doors and 23 lights. What, what did the lights go for? So if we look up here, we, we, did, we got four lights for three grand so they're not worth nothing uh, you know get the expensive stuff like nanocarbon panels those were some bank that airlock that was uh or the consoles the airlock consoles we got three of those for 135 grand total that glass was 52 grand that we cut out of there um the atmosphere regulator 48 grand a piece the antenna not worth huge, eighteen thousand a piece. We did get a door. Uh, the airlock was seventy-five thousand, uh, but you know the big chunk was these two, all the nano carbon that we got out of that. So that's what you want to go for. Get the stuff that's worth some change, and we are still. So that's after paying our fees of five hundred thousand, and we. Our debt has been reduced by a million. <laughs> now, we only owe $998,284,953 and a half dollars. <laughs> and a half. <laughs> All right, folks, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I enjoy playing this. I really do. It mostly, well, not just because of the music. It's, it's kind of a different game. It, you just... It's easy to chill. I mean, just chill, play, cut things apart, try not to die. 
Try not to decompress the whole damn ship and blow things up, which you can do. We will see that later on. And uh, some of the bigger ships, you you don't do things right. You, you, you're going to lose all the value in that ship. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. I enjoy playing it. And uh, I don't know if I'll do any more of these. I probably will. I mean, I play the game, so why not put it up on the channel? Love the music. That's the best part. <laughs> to me, anyway, I could just sit here and play this for hours and just listen to music and just chill out. Don't worry about nothing. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Take care of you and yours. And hey, people, be safe out there. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.